Welcome back. I'm David Gura. President Trump is once again undermining his own Justice Department. The Washington Post reports the president is pushing his Republican allies to release a classified memo written by staffers for House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, despite the Department of Justice's warnings that doing so would be, quote, extraordinarily reckless. Well, the memo suggests the FBI relied on politically motivated or questionable sources to justify a request for a secret surveillance warrant. This latest development comes the same week the president said he was looking forward to speaking with special counsel Robert Mueller. Do you think Robert Mueller will be fair to you in this larger investigation? We're going to find out. There's no collusion. What is now the they're saying, oh, well, did he fight back? But what you fight that back. Mean, sir? What is obstruction. Collusion? Sir, what is no you fight back. John, you, you fight back. Oh, it's obstruction. So here's the thing. Uh, I hope so. All right, with me now is Rosalind Helderman. She's a reporter for The Washington Post who broke the story and defense attorney you did to all day. Uh, Rosalind, let me start with you. What did you find out? We've seen the hashtags. We've heard the conversation over these last few weeks, those agitating for the release of this particular memo. And we certainly understand uh, the Justice Department's hesitation to see that happen. What did you learn about what the president uh, thinks about the prospects of that happening in Washington, D.C.? Right. Well, the letter that you refer to from the Department of Justice came out on Wednesday. It was from an assistant attorney general, and he said that the release of the memo without review by DOJ would be, quote, extraordinarily reckless. Uh, we understand that the president reacted poorly to that uh, and instructed John Kelly, his chief of staff, to call Jeff Sessions and make his wishes known. Uh, and the wishes of the president are that this memo come out. He believes, based on uh, what he has seen on TV and what he has heard from members of Congress, that the memo will be helpful to him, that it will help uh, people convince people that the bias he says exists in the Mueller probe is really there. So he wants it out. Mm. Rosalind, very quickly here, I'm, I'm curious about the import of this. This is not fundamentally the decision of the Justice Department. It's something that lies in the court uh, of Congress. So how much does this matter? Explain that to us. Well, I think it's interesting because it's sort of the latest example of what we have seen really going back for months and something that we understand is now an important focus of the Mueller probe, which is that uh, President Trump believes that the Justice Department should answer to him. Uh, we understand that he sometimes refers to DOJ officials as my guys. He calls the Justice Department the Trump Justice Department. So you have seen this ongoing pattern of the president attempting in various ways to intervene with the actions of the Justice Department. and. But what we understand Mueller is looking at is whether this pattern uh, represents obstruction of justice. Uh, Yadid, a point that's made in this piece is that you see a president trying to wield control over something he has no control of. I just want to get your reaction to what you read in the Post this week. You know, I, I think Trump's lack of understanding what obstruction of justice really means, um, it just simply based on that statement that he made about fighting back and how now that's perceived as obstructing justice, well, his fighting back could give rise to an obstruction, obstruction of justice because we look at the pattern that he has engaged in. Think about his firing of James Comey, but not before asking for his loyalty and to back off of Michael Flynn. Then you have him demanding that Sessions not recuse himself from overseeing this Russian investigation despite those clear ethical conflicts. And then reports this week coming out that Trump might have wanted to fire Mueller. These actions, while they're not um, maybe criminal, isolated, but together amount to a, an intent, an in, a corrupt intent, that element that's so hard to prove with obstruction of justice. But Trump continuously makes that very easy with the actions that he takes. So, you know, his fighting back is going to kick him in the butt at the, in the end because he is clearly treading a very dangerous line. Yeah, Yadid, I'm glad that you bring up that other reporting. I just want to play a clip here of Senator Susan Collins. She was on CNN's State of the Union this morning talking a bit about uh, that second report you just described. Let's take a listen. I think the president would be best served by never discussing the investigation ever, whether in tweets, except in private conversations with his attorney. And this is hard for us, but I think we've all got to be patient and allow the independent counsel to conclude his investigation and bring his findings forth before speculating on whether or not there are sufficient grounds for any kind of wrongdoing. We just don't know. And we've heard that most recently about the Deputy Attorney General, about Rod uh, Rosenstein. And certainly there's still a lot of criticism being levied at uh, Robert Mueller's investigation uh, as well. How worried are you about these investigations being able to run their course, Yodine? You know, 
it's it's incredibly worrying because these this need this insatiable need for partisan points at the expense of um, the American people's safety and the confidence that they have in our legal system is at jeopardy at this very moment because the president of the United States and his allies are continuously trying to undermine an investigation that just wants to get to the bottom of things. So if Trump really wants to fight back, what he needs to do is just let the investigation play out and have you be exonerated of whatever it is that you think that you aren't guilty of. But his attempts to constantly try to put um, the brakes on an investigation when they just simply want to let the American people know what it is that's going on, especially with Trump saying that he is about transparency. Well, if you want to be transparent with the with the American people and restore their confidence in our checks and balances in our legal system, let it all play out. But that's not what he's doing. And it's it's dangerous for the American people. It's dangerous for what I do every day um, in the courtroom, um, because the person that holds the most important office is constantly questioning the most respected law enforcement agency that we have in this country. Yudi, so it's, it's, it's extremely bad. Yudi, thank you very much. Rosalind, thanks to you as well. Yudi, uh, uh, Rosalind, they're one of four reporters on that piece in the Washington Post today.